Hi, good afternoon. Good evening, Lucero. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> good evening. How are you? I'm very tired. And you? Well, a little bit sick. I'm coming down with the flu. Okay. And tell always, me. always I I am yes. the first the first student. Yeah, you seem to be. You seem to be the first one. So tell me how's everything? Well, there's Susanna also connecting right now. Tell me how was your day? You told me that you are very tired. Why? What did you do today? Okay, I'm very tired because I I had finished my workout and I was I was in the park. But I but I came back to my home. Okay. I was at the park and I came back home. Okay. Oh, really? Thank so, you. How was your how's day? The, oh, my day heavy. A heavy day at work. So, how's the weather right there where you live? Is it cold or is it hot? I don't listen. How's the weather where you live? Is it cold or is it hot? It's hot, but I. But, but, but today, it was raining. Oh, really? And it had uh, a little cold. Okay. And your place, uh, had it rain? Did it rain or has it rain? Did rained? it rain? Didn't rain. Or you can also say, has it rain? Like this, look. Oops, hold on, just give me a second. Yes, it rained in the afternoon. It's been raining in the afternoon. Has and right now. In the afternoon. Yeah, it rained today in the afternoon. A little bit strong, like around three, three something p.m. But the weather is very fresh tonight. Okay, always, always that moon rained. Yeah, this, with month, the other month. this month. This month. Yeah, it usually rains. It usually rains in this month. We'll see, we'll see what November brings. I hope it gets windy. I like it when it's cold. It's nice for it sleeping. Is. Well, Lucero, welcome. Thank you. No, thanks to you for being here in class. Susana, hello. Good evening, Tisha. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, nothing. The order, the order work. <laughs> okay, and you can say it like this. Look, you can say, you can say like this. You can use this expression, no mosh. Ah, when you no say mosh. no mosh, yeah, when you say no mosh, you mean like oh, the routine. Ah, nothing okay. new, nothing special. Ah, okay. It's no motion and nothing special. Um, okay, yes. just working as usual. Yes, teacher. I I working. Um, and I I ha I has I has the the uh, oh 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 as tarea del hogar. Um, housework. Housework. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Well, that's normal. That's normal. We it's have to make them normal. every single day. It's, it's normal day. <laughs> okay, Susana, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. Oh, and I went to five, teacher. That's good, Walter. That's good. So glad to hear it. And tell me, how was your day? Did you have a good day? Ah, oh, yes, teacher. Um, day, I'm very relaxed. And I relax for the moments. And, and everything is good. Hey, that's nice. So glad to hear it. Excuse me? So glad to hear it. Me complace escuchar ello. Eso. So glad. <laughs> so to glad. Hear it. Like this. Look. So glad to hear it. That's cool. That's okay. nice. So you have had a good day, I imagine. Yes, teacher. Today. Excellent. Today we have a lot of activities. Yes, teacher. And what, what time did you get home today? Uh, um, what time did you get home today? Oh, regresé a casa. Yep. Okay. I return my house at uh, uh, six six p.m. Teacher. Six p.m. Yes. Nice. Yeah. So you have had and time then, to relax and everything. Yes, my wife uh, and Papa Vina and oh, Walter cool. and Red. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. That's nice. Great to hear that. Well, Walter, welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. William, hello. How are you? Let's see, let's see. Perhaps he's not available right now. I got uh, Maria Alejandra. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Well, actually, you know, I think, I think I am coming down with the flu. I think I am coming down with the flu. You feel sick? Yeah, I got like a running nose, a headache, and I got a sore throat. The weather, uh, the weather is Extraña, I need you miss you the hot days. <laughs> no way, I hate the hot days. Those are terrible. Yes, but today I uh, I feel oh, I feel had a good day or was a good day. Oh really? Tell me why. Because. I didn't feed a lot of food. I don't use my phone. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and rainy. I think that all afternoon. Cool. Yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. Let's see. Perfect. So, what time did you finish working? I finished working at... I finished... I finished working at 6 p.m. maybe. Okay, so you have had time to relax. Yes. <laughs> um, this week I start to read a, a book. <laughs> I started reading a book. I started reading a book in the morning, finished the second. And okay, which, which books are you reading? The names are Ruby, Zafiro, and Esmeralda. Okay, what are they about? <laughs> travels in the Viajes en el Tiempo. Oh, really? Time travels? Trying travels, but it's a very cute. Uh, the history is very 
<laughs> um, romantic, but maybe like oh this. Oh my but gosh. All around uh, the travels in the, how do you say? Time travels. Ah, time travels. Mm -hmm. uh, romantic stories, you know. Yes, <laughs> but for past the time, it's good. It's, uh, I like it as uh, type of book or a kind of this book. You are like, you could be a Daniel Steele's fan. <laughs> <laughs> and only that. I don't, okay. I only work and when I have a time, I read because maybe in the night, um, I at feel night. Very, at night, I feel very tired and maybe me quedo dormida. How do you say? I just fall asleep. I just fall asleep. And okay, I well, read. <laughs> Thank you, interesting. Thank you very much, Maria. You're welcome, teacher. Daniel, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Nice to have you here. Tell me, how was, how's everything? Uh, everything's fine, but really, really busy, but it's good. Excellent. So what did you do today? How's the projects coming along? We have a little uh, delay in the project of El Nance because we are we uh, íbamos we a were going ahora to, oh we were going to finish today. Yeah, but the one who give the window have problems with the glasses so it will be finished and started tomorrow okay. and the project from uh, la libertad it's uh, advancing but okay. really uh, really slow for my expectation for my liking or you can yeah. say for my liking yeah yeah. Well, but you're still uh, you're still uh, uh, on on time, right? You're still on schedule. Uh, yeah. Well, hopefully on Sunday uh, we will be finished because uh, that's what I talked with the foreman today. We need to advance in the, for example, we the. Uh, the greatest part that we have to uh, keep construction is the backyard, but all the rooms and the and the uh, for example the living room the the dining room it's right. Uh huh. Oh my God, yeah. so you got a lot of work to do. Yeah, but all that, it's almost ready. Okay. So but, I talked to but. the... We say, but. But. Yes, like that. Well, interesting, Daniel. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Marta, hello, Marta. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm just fine, thank you very much. Well, as I was telling your classmate, just coming down with the flu, but what can you do about it? I'm so sorry, teacher. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable, actually. Is this ghosting? No, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah, incomodo. So what okay. about you, Marta? 
are you doing? Uh, today it was a normal day, teacher. Is the same story. Many calls, uh, many cases in platform, but everything was okay. It's not. Uh, it's a normal day. Okay, good to hear that. So the same old routine. Yes, yes, but I am here, teacher, ready for the class. Excellent. What about the weather? How was the weather by where you live? Uh, in the afternoon, it's, it's raining a lot. Oh, it was oh, raining? Uh, it was raining uh, every, every afternoon. The whole afternoon? The whole afternoon. But in this moment, it's, it's okay. It's not raining yet. Still. Still. It's not raining still. Okay, it was raining a, a still. Okay, let me yeah. fix it for you. It goes like this, look. It's not raining okay. still. It's not raining still. Yeah. Because when you say yeah. it's not raining still, what you mean is, uh, estamos dando a entender que ya dejó. Ah, okay. 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 But if Thank you say you, yet, if you say yet, aún. Es que ambos significan aún, solo que en el caso de still, está dando a entender la idea de que ya paró. Ya pasó. Okay. Okay. Pero si dice okay. el aún que expresamos con yet, quiere decir que lo estamos esperando. Ah, okay, okay. So, still refers to the past, something that started in the past and can be happening in the present, and yet goes from the present to the future. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Very interesting. Thank you. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who else. Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Uh, a little bit sick, you know, the flu. So, oh, really? Yeah, I was telling Marta, it's uncomfortable, just that. And tell me, what about you? How was your day? What did you do today? Well, my day, it was very busy because I I have a, a big sale, but I'm, I'm happy for this. Oh, really? Yes, uh, we're five insurance. Oh my gosh, it was a great day for you. Yes, yes, thanks God. Excellent, excellent, yeah, that's cool. So glad to hear it, so you are happy tonight. Yes, um, I'm fine, I'm happy for my, my day. I hope okay. tomorrow uh, will be better. Yeah, let's hope so. It's always good when we have a good day at work. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you are doing pretty well with me also in the platform. You finished section one, section two, and midterm, right? Exactly. Uh, I made a, I uh, know, I do or. I do. I did the second, the first test, the middle yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> you, let's see, also Daniel, Lucero, let's see who else, Nicolás, Roxana, Walter also finished. Let's see who else I'm there. And William are the ones who have finished section one, section two, and the midterm. That's great, congratulations. So I am so glad that you had a good day, Ambar. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. I, I hope you keep improving. Ah, oh, yeah, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Let's see, Roxana, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, hey. I'm 
How was your day? How's everything? Well, my day, it was very busy, but I think that it was a productive day too at work. And I finished my work at 4 p.m., I guess. Okay. And it's too early for me because the last uh, the last week I disconnect around 6 p.m. I was disconnecting. I was disconnect around 6 p.m. No. And listen, after listen, working. Listen, listen, Roxana. I was disconnecting. I was disconnecting around 6 p.m. Yes. And today, after working, I prepare a dinner with my prepared dinner with my mom uh, because uh, currently he has a leave for absence. Do do it debido a yeah do you do or do it do do you? do you a little do flu you? like you oh no so. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, when we men got the flu, it's not little. When we men mm. got the flu, it's terrible. It's horrible. It's the worst ever. Yeah, but you know, I think, or the world, uh, the rest of the people think that women are more stronger. Well, when it comes to the flu, it's just that the flu for us men is terrible. It's horrible. I mean, we feel like dying. Yeah, we now... are we are despairing right now. <laughs> Actually, she has a lot of uh, pills, like um, amoxicillina or um, yeah, antibiotics. Yeah, antibiotics. Yeah, and she. She has been in the house since yesterday. And today told me that uh, her, her boss uh, called her and told that she need to uh, come back to the work in 15 days because uh, she tr uh, in the work tried to work with the um, protocol, how do you say protocol? Protocols. Pro COVID protocol. So uh, we supposed that that uh, she doesn't have that. She doesn't have okay. that. But uh, in the company, um, no sé, no la quieren ahí. They don't want the her company, there. Yeah, the company, they don't want her there about okay. the protocol. And I try to spend time with her in the house, is, um, try to uh, spend time with the rest of my family. Uh, I don't know, something like that. I think that this day, it was an um, interesting day because I tried to, I tried to, uh, do different things than the other uh, weeks. Okay. Well, that's cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. And welcome to the class. Thank you. Let's see, guys. I need to get the attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lesser Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Álvarez Rodríguez. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. 
Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Shevani Rosales Galvez. Yeah. Present oh, teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Francisco, hello, Francisco. How are you? Oh, you are on vacation, right? Francisco. Hello, teacher. Yes. Yes. Cool. I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Janina. Tell me, what time do you wake up? Are you waking up, Francisco? To, today, teacher. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, I was uh, wake up very early. I woke up. I woke up. Sorry, I woke up very early around uh, uh, 40. No, sorry. Uh, for 30 I am. Oh, really? Why? You didn't have to go to work, my friend. <laughs> uh, the, the situation, teacher, uh, I, I was uh, with my wife uh, to uh, is to, hmm. she has a, a exam. Some exams. Okay, look. The expression is like this. I took my wife to the doctor for some exam. Well, actually, no, for some tests, no exams. Like this. Look, I took my wife to the doctor for some tests. Okay, teacher. So yes, uh, yes, I took my um, I took my wife to the doctor for some tests. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, this uh, this is the reason for we we have uh, wake up very early. <laughs> okay, that's but, why we woke up very early. That's why we woke up very early. Okay, teacher. Um, but in the afternoon, uh, I uh, I took a, a rest, teacher. <laughs> oh, really? You took a nap? How long? How many hours yes. did you sleep? Uh, around two hours. Oh, cool. That, that was a nice nap. Yes, teacher. <laughs> it, it's very relaxing. Teacher, how do you say eh, aprovechar? Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage of my vacation, teacher. <laughs> okay, so you are taking advantage of your vacation. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, that's cool. You know who's suffering? Sylvia. Sylvia just finished on her vacations and she's the first week at her job. <laughs> so that's uh, Thank you, Francisco. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, guys. I still got a few minutes. Please, uh, before I forget, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez, say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, mister. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Oh, Wilfredo's busy. Let's see who else is around. Mr. Osorio, hello, how's everything? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, um... I feel tired, teacher. Oh, really? But, a heavy day at work? Yes, teacher, but 
But needs you to be able to do all the activities today. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So that means uh, you sound like as soon as the class finished, you're going to crash down in your bed. <laughs> that is, uh, and now I, I fall in sleep. <laughs> but I try to be able to... Concentrate. Don't worry, don't worry. Concentrate. We will, yeah, concentrate. concentrate. Mm -hmm, class. Don't yeah. worry, don't worry. We are going but, to uh, have many activities of speaking, so you will have the opportunity to practice with your classmate, and that's going to help you to stay focused. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry, don't worry. We will try to have everybody like on the move here. Thank you very much, and welcome to the class. You say. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. So, how was the first week at work? It was good. I have to. Mm, I don't know. I had to catch up at work. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Huh? Yes, yes, exactly. That's the meaning to catch. Just give me a second, Sylvia. I will explain the expression to your classmate. She has to catch up at work. It means, tuve que ponerme al día. Okay, that's the meaning of catch up in this in this specific context. So, but it didn't take you that long, Sylvia. Not so much. We, we had a meeting when I came back to work. Um, and there were some changes, but not big changes. And now I feel better. Oh, After cool. 15 days, now um, I, I feel good because I have one week working. Okay, that means that you got your batteries up again. Yeah, that's right. That's always good. That's always good because, I mean, uh, sometimes the just working and working is a little bit stressful. Yeah, it's stressful. But after 15 days vacation, I feel better at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, and uh, tell me about your schedule. How's your schedule this week? Oops, I think I lost you, Sylvia. Well, never mind. Let's see. We're going to talk with somebody else. Let's see. Let's see. Who else do we have? Hey, Nathaniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I am um, fine. Today is um, very, very busy. Um, I, uh, what um so I work today for probably 10 hours uh, probably by right now but sometimes it's, it's more easy um than than today but um I am okay I am fine okay glad to hear that Sorry. Okay. It's good to hear that that you're doing good in your job. I mean, sometimes we have to put to put on more hours, but that's normal, right? Yeah. And, uh, um, the today is is um, uh, uh, is complicated because sometimes it's more busy than another days. Uh, so you need to to put. Uh, more effort and sometimes than another days. So I am I am fine. I am fine. And okay. Probably tomorrow is better. Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope so. That's the attitude. I mean, we have to expect for the best for next day. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you? Well, let me see. Working as usual, you know. Same old story as usual. I gotta work and work and work. Let's see today, working the day. And from, I was teaching from 7 to 11.30. Then I was teaching from 12.30 to three something. Then I came back home. Then I had to run some errands. Came back home again, rested like for one hour, then prepared the class. Uh, then I had to go out to bring my family back from the gym. And right, I just came and started this class. After I finish the class, I'm gonna check out all the advances in the platform, getting the grades into the into the system. So I mean, my day ends like around 11, 11.30. Oh, oh. So okay. I mean, that's my, that's my working day, but sometimes I, I go to bed and, you know, I start watching TV. So it's like that. I mean, actually today was an easy day. Tomorrow is going to be difficult for me because tomorrow, let me see, I got to teach... Uh, from, again, from 7 to 11.30, from 12.30 to 3 something, then I come back home. I gotta get ready because at five, I teach one class from five to six. I got a meeting from six to 7.50 p.m. And I got this class from eight to 10. So tomorrow, Wednesday is a heavy day for me. Okay. It's, um, um... The, when the, you teach the class, is is very complicated because uh, plus to the, the the time to teach the class is time to prepare, review, and, and another uh, class. Yeah. So uh, the the principal problem uh, it's a uh, it's a voice like like this is a. Uh, I talk a lot of, of every day. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's the thing. When we are teaching, uh, sometimes we need more hours and that happens to everybody. I mean, sometimes in, in your jobs, you need more hours. Like Fernando, sometimes he's working at night, at midnight, and the same happens to, to all of us. Once in a while, yeah. we have to put a little bit more of an effort into our jobs. And that's normal. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, thank you, Nathanael. Let's see, let's see, let's okay. see. I still, yeah, I still got time, I still got time. Who am I missing? Fernando, how you doing? Hi, teacher. Fernando, okay. I, I am I am mad at you, man. You got me the flu. I don't know how that thing came through the wires, but I got the flu. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> I I feel better. Oh, really? Better than, That's than, cool. Than yesterday, yeah. Uh, In my case, today is my first day, so I feel like ah, uh, terrible. Oh, okay. My first day was Friday at night. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, so I, I, me estoy superando, I over it. <laughs> no, 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 oh, nice. You say it like this, I am overcoming it, I am overcoming it. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just sent it to some, just no. some private to someone. Let's see, I need to fix this. And goes like this. I am overcoming it. I am overcoming it. Yeah, that's uh, formal. That's, that's formal English. You can also say it like this. I am coming back on track. That's informal English. I am coming back on track. I'm coming back on track. Yeah. 
Estoy de regreso. A mi ritmo. I am coming back on track. Uh -huh, okay. That's informal English, okay? You express uh -huh. the same idea, but in the second one, it's informal. Yeah, you know, Fernando, Roxana doesn't believe me that when the flu hit us, men, it's worse it's than terrible. when it hits. <laughs> yeah. Dramatic. <laughs> Yeah, the, the and, flu, the flu uh, for ladies is something easy. It's yeah. something very, very mild. Yeah, there, there yeah. is no drama. It's really bad. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I, I got my tea. I got my candy for my throw. I got some pills. And it's terrible. And it, we are, we almost die, Roxana. Believe it, right, Fernando? <laughs> Right. Come on, you I are confer. very, very dramatic. <laughs> I confer that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fernando, nice having you here in class. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. Now, give me just a second. Okay, now we are going to get very deep and personal in the questions, okay? The, I got two questions for us to start in the conversation part. Welcome everybody. I'm sorry, Wilfredo and um, I think Wells and William that I couldn't talk to you, but we have a- no, I think, Don't worry, teacher. Thank Don't you, worry. Wilfredo, appreciate it. And, oh, there's also Janira, welcome Janira. But today we got two very interesting and actually very important in questions. So I would like to get some insight. I would like to get some insight on you and on your goals, on your goals for your life. So the questions we are going to be working with are these. What is your most important goal? Why is it important to you? Okay. What is your most important goal? Why is it important to you? Okay, guys. Now the activity is going to be like this. I will send you to work in, in small groups. You will have five minutes for doing the exercise. Then I will bring you back here. But here I will assign you, some of you, as we did yesterday, you are going to ask one of the classmates and we will see, but I will tell who is going to ask and you are going to choose to whom, okay? So you will pick one of your classmates and ask the question, okay? So are we ready? Let me create the groups right now. Let's see. Okay, groups are created, please. Let's jump in. Hurry up, just five minutes. Okay, okay, and you are is a first participant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> today, okay. today I say uh, one hundred percent. Excellent. Okay, Francisco. Your question for you is: What is is your most important play? Uh, it's a problem. But they play in, in another country. Yeah, it's bad. Bad, bad, but uh, only I, I, I remember. Yes, I remember um, many years ago when they play with another team. 
They look very well. Who, but now, who you? terrible. Teacher. Who, who are we talking about? <laughs> ah, we are talking about El Fas. El Fas. Yes, um, last Sunday. I, I am so lost. sorry. Yeah. I am so sorry. I am from San Salvador, so. Alianza. Alianza. Alianza with that. Yes, sure. And uh, to be honest, I like Our, I like it, but uh, I don't I don't follow them actually. I mean, I like I, never... it, I like uh, when Alianza play because they they play very well. And yeah, but I, it, do you I don't remember? Follow them. I don't follow them. It's just that I mean I never quite have the time, you know, because sometimes they play Sundays. I'm busy at Sundays. If they play during weekdays at night, I am busy. You're working. Yeah, the same happened to me with uh, like uh, what what do they call this thing? Oh, today I came home and I realized I found out that today there was a game from Champions and I don't even know who played. <laughs> so who played today uh, champions you know? um, Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain ah, okay. uh, Paris won 3-2 and Real Madrid won 5-0 five, 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 to 0 yeah. okay that's, that was cool yeah. so you see I don't even, I'm not even like up to date with the, with soccer now. And when I have time, like when I got free time, it's December, they don't play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On, teacher, you have to, to, to watch only mi pobre angelito, home alone. Yeah, oh man. And oh, that's something, no. that's something funny. Yeah. The same the same that happens to me with uh, Fupusas happens to me with Christmas. I hate Christmas. Really? Yes, I <laughs> hate Christmas. It's just not my time of the year. I mean, uh, for me, I don't like the music, I don't like the movies, I don't like nothing about it. The decoration. No, and I could no, I I'm don't. Alone. It's, it's, a, it's a great movie. No, no, no. And you know what's funny? In my house, we are complete opposites. My wife loves Christmas. Really? Yeah, so the whole month I'm like watching movies that I don't like to watch. <laughs> I enjoy watching movies for, for Christmas. I, I remember that my, my favorite movies our Santa Clausula, Home Alone. Uh, it is very fun. You're, you're oh, killing me here. You're killing me. You know what? I'll go check on another group. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <this is. laughs> mm. uh, the the one the four participants, uh, me. Like, I would like or will to to live in other company in other in other country. Oh, really? That's nice. Where where do you want to live? Um, maybe is I I think I think um in United States. Oh, oh, I will prefer Europe. <laughs> I, teacher, I, I, but I need a work at the work, but uh, I have a more, more cash. <laughs> oh, you want more money. That's cool. That's mm. cool. <laughs> yeah. Is in Europe, uh, is it difficult 
Um, yes. But it's a, a, tra a work, but people work uh, easy. Mm. Yeah, easy. in a way, in a way, yeah. It's difficult. My right, my my right hand, and oh, okay. I, I am your uh, hand right too. And, okay. Uh, it be, yeah, and the second question is because it is important for me. And uh, with technological advantage. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's is is work with with data. With ah, big with data. database. Uh -huh, big data. It sounds oh. interesting and important. Yeah, yeah it's it's just fun. just a second. I'm sorry to interrupt. Sylvia, who were your who was in your group? I think Sylvia's having problems with the connection. Who were you working with? No, uh, today? Yeah, right now you weren't in the group. No, I got disconnected. Sorry. Okay, guys, please ask Sylvia. You got, you still got uh, one minute. So ask her. Okay, Sylvia, what is your most important goal? And why is it important to you? Uh, my important goal um, Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is it going to start? Fernando, you are going to start. Fernando. Yes, teacher. Hello. Okay. Pick one of your classmates. Sorry, teacher. Choose one of your classmates and ask the questions, please. Okay. Roxana has a problem with your connection, so with her connection. <laughs> yeah, uh, with, with her connection, so uh, Roxana, what is your most important goal? And why is it important to you? Hi. Well, in my case, in a short time, uh, I think that my important goal is um, get a balance in my life because in the last month, I just, uh, my time is just work, work, work. And I think that I am very sedenta sedentary. How do you say sedentary, teacher? Sedentary. Sedentary. And I think that I need to change some, some things in a short time and long time um i don't know maybe long term long term long and long term um i want to get a leadership maybe in in my um 
current job or in another. And I don't know, maybe change the area and get some specialization about a, another department. And it's important to me because I think that we need to do different things and we have to get a flexibility about changes. Flexible. Flexible about changes. Okay. Now remember, you say long term and short term. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Roxana, please ask Fernando. Eh, Fernando, pero que no tengo las preguntas. Tengo un minuto. Fernando, what is your most important goal, goals and why is important to you? Uh, in my case, my most important goal uh, currently is started a master's degree because I need to get other job. I have three years in this, in this job and I need to do something else. And I have investigated about business intelligence and as well-paid job. And I like it, really, I like it, business intelligence. So this is important for me uh, in a short term. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando. Thank you, Roxana. Excellent. Okay. Now let's see, Maria Alejandra, choose one of your classmates. <laughs> Amba, okay, perfect. What is your most important goal and why is why it is, why it is important to you? Well, in my case, the most important goal for me is to have been able to graduate of the university because it was, it was very important for my professional develop. And I need to learn a lot of things about my career is marketing international. Uh, how do you say sobre todo teacher? Overall. Overall, the another language, for example, English, right? But I, hmm. I think my advance is my career, but now okay. I'm learning English with us. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, Amber, just remember in your area, you say international marketing, okay? International, international marketing. marketing. Yeah. Okay, teacher. In languages, I recommend you after you finish with uh, English, get into French, it's French or German. Yes, I, I think in Portuguese, but it's Portuguese. a good idea, French, Portuguese. It's a good idea, okay. French too. Okay, now please, Ambar, ask Maria Alejandra. Okay, Maria Alejandra, what is, what is your most important goal? Why is... What is it important to you? I think the most important goal for me uh, when I finish my master's degree because I have a lot of problems or troubles when I study and and it's a very, uh, very important to finish because my father paid me the master, my mother all the nights waiting for me. And for my career is an advantage for the future, I think. Um, I think the, the other goals, um, I hope I found, I found a other job in a short time and to move, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you. Very good, very good. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Lucero, please choose one of your classmates. Mm. 
Lucero. Well, let's see, there's Daniel. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Okay, please, Daniel, pick one of your classmates and ask the questions. Okay. Uh, give me a second, please. Uh, Wilfredo, what's, what is your most important goal? Why is it, why is it important to you? Um, I, I, <laughs> I have some goals. My life, most important for me now, it is uh, my, it is this one. Um, my oldest, my oldest kid, he's studying medicine in the university. Ooh. Then, at the university, yes, yes, uh, he is finishing his first years. And then I hope so. I hope so. He's finishing um, without some problem. But um, then, then I, when he finishing, I, I guess I hope I hope so. My my middle kid, uh, he is maybe he is going to study. Um, industrial engineering too in the university. Engineering. Then engineering. Okay. And the last one, my my youngest, I guess the um, for my oldest and my middle kids, I guess that I am going to can help help them, but I don't know when my my youngest. A uh, kid uh, start in the university. I don't know. I hope. I hope so. And I hope in God that I can help you. But my first, my first goal, it is the first one. My oldest young, my oldest kid finishing her career. Kiss. Kiss. Um, Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Please ask Danny. Welcome, teacher. And um, let me see my classmate. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel no, you Daniel. gotta ask Daniel. Ah, yes, okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Daniel, will you tell me please, what is your most important goal and why it is important to you? Yeah, uh, for me, it's well one of the most important goals that I have it's to uh, have a really known company and uh, to know well to the all the people know that we made good jobs, we paid well to the people, and we offer a really nice guarantee in all our jobs. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you both of you. Daniel, what you mean is a well-positioned company? Yeah, sorry, well-positioned company. Interesting, thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Marta, Marta, please choose one of your classmates. Okay, um, my question is for Francisco. What is your most important goal? What is what it is important to you? Okay. Um, in this moment, uh, the most important goal uh, for me is uh, finish uh, uh, and uh, finish uh, English. Um, um, learn well and learn it well uh, in the long term uh, uh, finish uh, um, my 
university career. And, okay. and the most in, in the long, long term is <laughs> uh, a, a start a, a business, a start a business. Oh, really? That's cool. Interesting. Now, Francisco, please ask Marta. Okay, Marta. Uh, what is your most important goal? And why, why is it important to you? Okay, uh, in my case, I, uh, personal is uh, alert to drive when I am an older person uh, because I have to do a lot of tests and overcome my fear. A uh, professional uh, is graduate um, the master degree in business administration. Okay, perfect. How old are you, Marta? I'm 47. Okay, you're young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not hey, DJ. You are, you are. You are. I am not. To drive. It's, it's, I'm it's so sorry okay. for me, but not. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, never mind that. Thank you, Marta. Thank you, Francisco. Let's see. Okay, guys, I just have a few minutes, so let's speed it up. Walter, please choose one of your classmates. Okay, teacher. Um, you got uh, Nathanael, Nicolás, no, Nicolás, William. Nicolás. Okay, Nicolás, perfect. Okay, uh, well, Nicolás, what is the question? What is your most important or uh, why it is important to you, Nicolás? Sorry. Well, my important goal today are my sons. I need uh, with my son what what my sons complete uh, the career in the university uh, and understand the life uh, is very important. Uh, what they understand. Uh, what the family is is uh, is a is a good idea. It's a good idea, and is uh, uh, in today the the country the the world is is very difficult, and they need understand this this situation and for me uh, the stability of my son is my uh, is my felicidad happiness uh, ha happiness okay thank you nicolas please ask back ask walter back please walter what is your most important goal and because it is important for you. Okay, Nicolas. For the moment, <laughs> uh, and the most important is I had uh, to go in my hair and then I'm preparing academic study for the moment in English. Uh, and the question two, uh, for I can more uh, opportunity the world for I had a better life. Uh, okay, to have to have more to, opportunities. Okay, thank you. To have more opportunities. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you, Nicolas. Okay, Welcome let's see. 
Jose, Sylvia, William, and Nathanael, I'm sorry. I got, uh, I need to move on to the next exercise. And in the next one, you're going to be the first one, guys. Okay, now we are going to talk about free time. If you have more free time, what would you do? Okay, let's see. Amber, tell me, if you have more free time, what would you do? Sorry, can you repeat if me, you, please? If you have more free time, what would you do? Well, if if me if I more free time and more money, I will travel around the world. <laughs> I would travel around the world. I would travel around the world. Thank you very much, Amber. As one of your classmates. Okay, um, Nicolas, if you have more time, uh, more, oh, oh hi, sorry, free I forget time. The, More free time? Nicolas, if you have more free time, what do you do? Well, uh, my first activities in in my mind in for the free time are uh, disfrutar enjoy enjoy the beach enjoy okay. the beach and the mountain okay. uh, the, beach, the beach the beach soft the beach Más suavecito no me golpee la t más suave beach beach, beach. Like that, perfect. Sin T, teacher. Sin T. Si, si me la pronuncia con T es otra cosa. Okay, the, the wish. The wish. Yes, perfect. Yes, like that. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, now, Nicolás, please ask one of your classmates. Uh, okay. Uh, Janira Elizabeth Asensio. Oh, Janira is... She's having problems with her microphone. Okay, okay. Maria Alejandra Barrientos. Maria Alejandra <laughs> Barrientos. And if you had more free time, what would you what would you do? I think uh, I would. Or I do, I study a uh, postgrad. I will study. I will study. Uh, a master's. A master's uh, in the other. In another. In another uh, area. Area. Uh -huh. okay, and maybe perfect. I have a morning, I travel. I will travel. Okay. <laughs> perfect. Maria Alejandra. Please, as one of your classmates. Jose. Jose Osorio, perfect. Uh -huh. Ask him. Uh, Jose, if you had more free time, what would you do? Uh, I will take uh, advantage, advantage of spending time with my family. Uh, I would like visiting my mother uh, since I hardly see her and uh, spending more time with my wife, uh, maybe uh, learn to play the guitar, play with my daughters and, and watch uh, a lot of television and I will like improve my English. Excellent, thank you. Jose, please ask one of your classmates. Um, well, I choose um, William. William, if, if you have more free time, what will you do? Okay, I will be well. I will spend more time with my family and my parents. Two, I would like to share moments and food with people 
We'll go through difficult times. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Excellent, Jose. William, please, ask one of your classmates. Okay. Lady Janita Elizabeth. Oh, she's, she's not available. Her microphone okay. is not working. Uh, Mr. Walter Mauricio. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, okay. If, if you have more free time, what would you do? Okay. I did um, a study that if uh, another, the, how do you say, career academic teacher? Career. You just say it like that, career, another oh. career. Ah, another career. Um, and prefer a uh, uh, design, design mm -hmm. graphic. Okay, graphic design. Graphic design. Um, and I visit and more uh, my family. And this for my family. Um, dedicate dedicate time. Uh, a God. Oh, to God, to God, to God, to God, to God. To God. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, uh, Walter. But, as one of your classmates, please. Okay, then um, Miss Roxana, if you had more free time, what would you do? Well, in my case, it's similar to Amber. If I had more free time and I have more money, I would like traveling with my family and visit some of my favorite places such as New York in, in Christmas or Paris in fall. Oh my God, oh my God, teacher. New yeah, job. I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Uh, I hate Christmas, Alexander. Why? It's Christmas, I hate Christmas. Please, Roxana, ask one of your classmates. Eh, Fernando. Are you there? Hello, I'm here. Okay. If you had more free time, what would you do? Oof. If if I had more free time, it would be a utopia. Utopia. Okay. <laughs> a utopia. <laughs> yeah, okay, no. what would you do? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I think if I had more free time, I finally will finish reading my incompletely books. I will finish my uh, finish watching my incomplete series and other thing that I have been completely <laughs> because I, I don't have much free time. Okay, okay, I understand you, I understand you. Fernando, please pick one of your classmates. Oh, there's, oh well, actually, there's, there's, there's Nathanael and Sylvia. They haven't participated, please. Okay, Just one of those two. Nathanael? Hello, Fernando. Hello, uh, if you had more free time, what would you do? Um, I, I will go um, to many places in the world. Um, and probably I, I spend more time in, uh, at the beach um, and, um, and Oh, um, it won't be a utopia. Have a dinner or have me meals with. It won't be a utopia. Uh, so I spend for more time with my family. Yeah, great. Thank you, Nathaniel. Please ask the question to Sylvia. Sylvia, if you have more free time, what will you do? Silvia. Silvia. 
Hello. Hello. Yeah, the question is if I had more free time, what would I do, right? Yep. Yes, exactly. Um I would read more books. I like to read sometimes in Spanish and I try to read in English too. And also I would have more time for my family, for my friends. And I would go to the beach more often because I live at the beach, but I don't have time to go and enjoy and swim. But I would um I would learn, I would take a course of English too, another another course. I would take okay. another course of English. I would take another course of computers. And okay. I would start Oops, I think we lost you again, Sylvia, your microphone. Yeah, okay, let's see. Next activity. Francisco. Hello, Francisco, how are you? Just fine, teacher. <clears throat> okay, Francisco, uh, I got a an interesting question for you. And this comes out of the blue. Tell me, have you ever slept in a strange place that was not a bell? Have you ever, have you ever slept in a strange place that was not a bell? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, understand the, Look, the question. Did you? Okay, uh, ask the question to me. Ask, ask me the question, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Have you ever slept in a strange place that was not a bed? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me see. Once, one time I slept uh, at a cemetery. And let's see. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and I once I slept at a park. What else? Ah. Oh, once, once I had I didn't I didn't sleep, but I had to stay with a friend who fall asleep on me on a sidewalk. Oh, and also when I was in the concerts uh, at uh, rock concerts at Fenastras, uh, we used to sleep anywhere we could after the concert. So yeah, I have slept in different places. What about you, Francisco? Have you ever slept in a strange place that was not a bell? Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, for example, uh, um, in a chair. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Um, Where was that? Is, could you me, could, do you repeat me, please? Where was that? Donde fue eso? Eh, in in a uh, uh, job. <laughs> oh my gosh! My previous. <laughs> the, my previous job. Eh, the, the the situation. Eh, the we eh, we had a. Uh, uh quantity of, of work for the ship and finish that that uh, that quantity uh, uh, we are free are free free of okay, okay. was was is a was a a night shift Okay, yeah. Well, you know, I did that. I used to do that at the hospital. Yeah, yeah I took a master at sleeping in the chairs from Seguro Social. Yeah, you, I could just sit and fall asleep at night. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Guys, I'm sorry. 
be sure that you have your microphones off, please. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's next? Roxana, you're next. Hello. Okay, now I got a different question for you. Tell me, Tell Roxana, me. what makes, uh, well, you're Mario. Mm, no, that's, that's not a question for you. Well, yeah, you can do it. Let's see. Uh, what makes a good first date in your opinion? In my opinion, the best first date, it was in a um, quiet place. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, yeah, I think in a good pizza mm -hmm. restaurant. Ah. Yeah, because they have a, like a romantic um, decoration. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think I think is is the best in my case. I prefer uh, in the first date have um, a stay with uh, a lot of people around because uh, it's weird. You don't know what happened with the other person. So I think it's better in the first state is um, a public place. Yeah. Okay. And the much. rest, uh, okay. The rest, no comments. No, no. I, I think that the, the rest of the of the date, I I don't know. Maybe stay time, spend time in the in the village, for example, or okay, perfect, something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Actually, it's better that I ask a married woman this question because it could be misunderstood. Thank you, Roxana. Now I got another question. Marta, hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. Okay, don't worry, Marta. I'm not going to ask you about the dates. Okay? Please, not. <laughs> okay, Marta. Now your question. Actually, right now I am asking, throwing around different types of questions. Okay, don't worry. It's not going to be the same question for everybody. Okay, so let's see. Tell me, Marta, um, hmm, what is your dream job? My dream job is jubilarme. Uh, <laughs> to retire. I to retire. <laughs> yes, it's, it's my dream. <laughs> Not teacher, yeah. Uh, mm, in this moment, I I my dream is the job is, is okay because I work on home. At is, home. At home no, is I'm sorry, for from me, home, from home. From home, uh, but it's, it's a, a dream for me because uh, I do not um, wait up early. I, my, my clothes is uh, comfortable. So comfortable. I don't, comfortable. I do not, uh, get out in the traffic. So it, it's, a, it's a good for me. Okay, in this moment. thank you. Excellent. Susana. Hello, Hello teacher. Susana, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, Susana, now I want to know about your tastes. What do you like? So tell me, what type of music do you like? Ah, eh, my, uh, my, I like, I like music. It's a romantic salsa, salsa romantic or romantic oh. salsa. Yeah, romantic salsa. Romantic salsa. Mm, yes. Interesting. Yeah, yes. in my case, I like hard salsa. Yes, I like it. I like it. Um, dancing too <laughs> oh yeah me too i love dancing now susana tell me what type of music do you dislike uh, is uh, i don't like um reggaeton 
Oh, me neither. No. <laughs> I, I know. I hate. Okay. Yeah. I hate. It's a uh, music. Mm, me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Susana. Let's okay. see. Let's see. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Yes. Tell me, what motivates you to do things in general? Mm, what do you well, think motivates you in your life? My motivation is my family. Oh, cool. Yes. Okay. And what do you do when you feel demotivated? When you feel down? Mm, what did, did you do? What or, do you do? What do Imagine you do? That, no. Yeah, today you feel like sad, depressed, like you feel blue today. So tell me, what do you do when you feel like that? Well, I try to, uh, how do you say, esforzarme. Okay, make an effort. I try to make an effort because I I must to help my family, my mom, and it is my motiv motivation, but it's only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay. You got, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. You got the dating question. No, you don't have the dating question. <laughs> Tell me, Ale Maria Alejandra, how do you feel about the emphasis that people put on beauty these days? I think that the time to shame because uh, other or uh, other people uh, think that the beauty is when you fat or you slim and in the other time for, for you feel feel beautiful or feel pretty pretty bonita yeah pretty uh, uh, you check or you uh, standards, for example, you are slim, or you put a different kind of clothes, or maybe like this. And this moment, I think that is more free. And you feel beauty, or I feel good for you, and you stay gordita. I don't know. Okay. okay. I think that day is the idea. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Perfect. Let's see. Um, Nicolas. Yes. Tell me, Nicolas, uh, what do you tell your kids about beauty? About the definition of beauty? It kills, kills or kids. What What do you tell your children about beauty? <clears throat> um, sorry, teacher. Uh, I don't know the, the phrase in, in English. Okay. Uh, what do you do tell you... your children about beauty in general? Like uh, you got sons. What do you tell your kids about beauty in a woman? Beauty. Yeah, belleza. Uh, well, uh, well, the of the woman, uh, the uh, well, my opinion and and the comments are, the preference is uh, a person. Are are persons and uh, the vision is is a specific 
uh, in your with with or for your mom uh, and in your grandmother. The examples of the woman are these two persons. In my opinion, is 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 uh, I I don't know. Uh, say I, I I don't I don't know. Is my opinion is 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 a. Respect the word in Spanish, respect. Respect, yes, is respect, is respect uh, for, for a woman. Okay, so you are talking mostly about values, right? Valores. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, for, Perfect. For, of course. Thank you, teacher. Perfect, uh, no, thanks to you. Nice answer to a very tricky question. It's a very complex <laughs> question, actually. Thank yes, you very much. Yes, of course. Let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, where are you, Wilfredo? Hmm. Wilfredo's not available right now. Mr. Osorio, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, now let's see, let's see. We are going to talk with you about dreams. Tell me, Mr. Osorio. Uh, what dreams do you have? Uh, one of my dreams is, is uh, have a, how do you say, uh, uh, stay with my family together for a long time, teacher, because always have so many problems and it's uh, uh, evitar, teacher. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Avoid. Uh, always uh, be happy. Uh, one of my dream it is it's it, teacher. Stay with my family together for the rest of my life, teacher. Because I love my family, I love my wife, I love my, my daughters. And I want to be a good father for my daughter, teacher. And my dream is, is it, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see, I got, uh, thank you very much, Jose. Fernando, I got a question for you. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, Fernando. Uh, what is your favorite chop? My favorite? Chop. Tienda. Chop. Oh, my favorite chop. Oh. I don't have favorite chop. <laughs> I shop everywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why don't you have a favorite one? So tell me what, what are the reasons you prefer to chop in different places? Uh, because I don't know, I I I don't usually shop. I I when I need uh, perhaps something, I, I will I will restate my question, Fernando. What's okay. your criteria? Your criteria when shopping? Oh, uh, my first criteria in in food, for example, is is the quality, not the price. Okay. And in other things, that clothes or 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 anything more, uh, anything less important is, is the price. Okay, perfect, excellent. That was my question, very well done. Thank you, Fernando. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see who's left. Oh, let's see, William. Let's see, William. Tell, tell me, teacher. Sorry. Hello, William. Tell me, which is your favorite restaurant? Sorry, tell me. 
Okay, please. Which, which is your favorite restaurant? Laka uh, Lakala is a good option. Okay, tell me why. Uh, delicious salad, serve, and attention in general. Uh, okay. I have a plato fuerte come here. I go. Main, main dish. I like uh, main dish. Uh, uh, this, this company offers. Okay, offer, offer. offer. Thank you very much. Thank you, William. Sylvia, okay. hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Sylvia, tell me, what are your plans for your English? For my English, um, I want to continue with this course. I want to continue practice with people. And okay. I would like to, to have, a, a, I don't know, how do you say, but face-to-face -face classes. Oh, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, one to face one to face. face to face and i would like to have also face to face classes mm. and i want to to have a better okay. english a better level of english mm. yeah and that's those are my plans okay perfect. to work Thank continue working much. hard so. okay yes. you're welcome yes. okay thank you Sylvia. yeah now okay, let's thank see you. Let's see, guys. Now, I got a question that it's going to be answered in groups, okay? And the question is, do you like books or reading? Why and why not? You're going to explain your classmates. You will have four minutes for answering the questions. You're going to be working in groups of three members. Let's jump in, hurry up. Hello, hello, guys. So, Francisco, oh, you just have slept on a chair. That's not a strange place, man. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Just sleeping on a chair is not a strange place, Francisco. That doesn't qualify as strange. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> I should have asked you the question that I asked uh, Roxana. Oh, no, your wife must be close. Uh, teacher, I am, I, I was, uh, no fui yo, como se dice, teacher? <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me, teacher. Uh, I don't know that, that uh, opened the microphone in this moment. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Please, continue, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay, Wilfredo, uh, do you like uh, tips to write in poemas? Um, Déjeme ver. Poems. I don't like poems. Poems. Oh, you don't like, you don't like poetry. Uh, do you offer uh, romantic poems in, in read in Electronic. Okay. In electronic in, format. In electronic format, yes. But I uh, read it with, uh, I have, I don't have a, in hand, in my hands, um, a book. It's easy to read. Yes, a difficult read, yes. <laughs> I mm. don't. 
I don't eh, see. I don't see it well. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, in my case, um, I don't really read a lot, but in the past, uh, sometimes I reading about um, I no sé Edgar Allan Poe. It's like oh, a, yeah. a, a, a freak. No freak. No, ¿cómo sería? No sé qué tipo de, de lectura es esa, ticha. Wow, no sé, let's see. Yeah, como es suspenso. The, the, yes, thrillers. Yeah, thrillers. It's like a thrillers, short histories. And short stories. Short stories. Short stories. And it was interesting because uh, he used um, a lot of uh, weird words and you can uh, understand you can uh, learn um, a lot of different uh, and similar words to to talk better and i don't know but i usually don't read any to some notice in the social media or in, in internet but not a book. What about you, Daniel? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, a lot of time ago, I like to read, but more about uh, history in country and around the world. Now, I don't have like that much time but it's always nice to read. But now my interests have changed. That's mm, are not real. But the the history is well for me was a uh, a very interesting. Okay. I okay. The, I I remember that when I, I I come back to the church again, okay, I tried to read uh, the Bible, and I I remember I, I start to to read um, los cuatro evangelios. Teacher, would you help me please? Where, how, how I can say yeah. in English? Oh, the, yeah, the four, the four, uh, oh man, I know that word. Hold on, let me remember. Um, mm, mm, mm. Man, I just forgot. Gospels, yeah, gospel. Gospel, like a music? Gospel. Yeah, like the music. Yes, gospel, ah, the five okay. gospels. Well, actually, uh -huh. Wilfredo, if you read like five chapters a day, you can read it in one year. Yes, yes. If you I... read five chapters mm. a day, you can read it in one year. I have read it seven times in my life. Really? Yeah, complete. Really? I I tried to, to finish it, yeah. but I, I stopped in... Apocalypse, I remember, because I tried to read, yes, in order to, um, a coordinator told me, and he told me that, that it is a good idea to start in the, um, the four gospel. Oh, interesting. Yes, yes but I, I, um, estuve yendo, I was, I was going, I was going. Yeah. I was going to the church for one year complete from Monday to Monday after my grandmother died. And I offered her uh, una novena de misas. Oh, really? Yes. Then I, I got an habit to go every day. Then I, cool. start, I, I start. I start to read the Bible. 
but I told I told to Francisco that I I don't like so much to read some book, and the last one that I wrote I remember was in the high. School. I read. I read. I read. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I read um, Los Cuentos de Edgar Allan Poe. Oh yeah, nice ones. Yes, I like to to read read it. And, and Francisco told me that he he read um, La Ultima Guinda. Oh, he, nice book. Uh, yeah, nice book, actually. A very nice book. I read it uh, some years ago. But it was a it's good a, book. It's an interesting history, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I read it. I, I, I have read it like three times, actually. Good. And I, I talk with, uh, with uh, Wilfredo. Uh, in my case, I, I like me read. But the, the time in this moment is, for me, is very, is, is very short. For the, the many activities. <clears throat> Teacher, yeah, I understand you. Yes, teacher, how, how do you say aunque? Even though. Even though. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Even though I like me, I like me read. Yeah, me too. I love reading. I love reading. Uh, well, in my case, it's more like an addiction. So I make time for reading. I read like one or two books per week. So uh, I read a lot. I actually read a lot. Teacher, book for weed is 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 a lot of teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know. Teacher, and yes, here in Santa Ana in Bypass, the Boulevard Los 44, in a uh, wall, in a muro. Yeah, yeah, in a wall. Um, I read some 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 um, two years ago. I remember. Uh, Alguien, somebody wrote, lee poco y serás como mucho. Lee mucho y serás como pocos. Oh, yeah, it's a nice yeah, phrase. Very nice phrase because when, when we try to, to read, yeah, we can get some information that sometimes it is, it is going we to always read. We always learn something new when we read. Yes. Hey, guys. We'll go back to the main room. Okay, see you. Uh -huh, Roxana. Oh, you stay Hello. tonight, right? Uh, yeah, but I have the session by the session one and one the last week too. Yeah, you because remember? we were covering somebody. Nick, yeah. So if I have the well, other today one. Is your, your appointment okay. One. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, ¿por qué me sacó del, del grupo? Oh, you are just a bad student, that's why. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Okay, Daniel, now the question is for you. Do you like reading? Yeah, I like reading. Actually, why do you I like it? Have... Sorry? Why do you like it? Because it's important to know new things. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Nathanael, what about you? Do you like books? Do you like reading? Um, I like reading the, the books that uh, in the last... Uh, it, Three, three and four years ago, I 
I can separate uh, a free time to, to read once, but uh, only um, I read uh, some resume about uh, the books, but I, I like it. Summary, summary. Yeah, summary. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. I know that Fernando loves reading, right, Fernando? Of course, teacher. Okay, tell me, why do you like reading, Fernando? Uh, I like because you can work with your imagination and you can be other, other person, other characters and you can have adventures in different landscapes, adventures. Different worlds. adventures in different landscapes, in different worlds, in different planets. You know, it's, um, you know, I don't know, I, I no tengo la palabra. Es una fuente inimaginable de, yeah, de perhaps conocimiento. You can, perhaps you can abstract Abstract. Yep. Abstract. Okay. Another word? Abstract. Yeah. Abstracto. No. Abstraerse. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's a way to escape from the routine. Yeah, the same, actually the same happens to me. I mean, my imagination just flies away and, and I abstract from everything around me. I mean, I'm just into the book, into the reading. I love yeah. that feeling. Yeah, it's very, very interesting and very, very helpful. Yeah, sure. Okay, guys, uh, before I get the attendance, I will switch into Spanish just for a second. El recordatorio nuevamente, terminamos el día de mañana la sección 2. El día de mañana después de la clase yo voy a estar eh, subiendo las notas de sección 1, revisando sección 1, aquellos que tenemos pendiente, eh, sección 2 y mid term. Recordemos, ya nos va quedando poco tiempo, así que tratemos de no atrasarnos. Eh, quiero ver qué más. Yes. ¿Cuándo terminamos la, este módulo, Tichel? Excuse me. This module, let me tell you the exact date. Then I see the fecha exacta. I got it right here. Uh, el 4 de noviembre. It's oh, okay. our last day. That's okay, our okay. last day. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Now let me please get the get the attendance. Ambarelli Alparo Gomez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lester Ramos Barrientos. Here, Daniel Eduardo Sagueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. And Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Mira, cuando está con... Okay, guys, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. I hope you enjoy the class. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.
que fueron Okay, let's see. Roxana, hello. Hello. There Good you evening. are. Good evening. Long time no see you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, actually tonight was your, your appointed date, okay? Okay. And the previous one was because the other classmate couldn't. And let's see, how are you? How's everything? Everything is okay, teacher. Okay, how are you doing in the activities? Mm, English activities or in gener general? In general. Well, I think that it was very, mm, no sé, marchando. Eso está bien, marchando. It, 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 I think that it was good. But right now, I think that I have a lot of uh, things in my work and I really feel tired. Really, but, you do nothing. Yeah, teacher, I do a lot of things in my work. As a matter of fact, uh, I have a new coworker, but uh, I guess that I told you that my boss is yes. no my boss will file va a despedir. Oh really? Yeah, uh, the um to my other coworker, and I have a lot of work for the next uh, month because I think that. The final, uh, the final uh, month is in October, October, and in November we are uh, just my new coworker and me. So uh, in that moment I will be the leadership of the process, but just okay. about activities, nor about. Um, nombre? Okay, Black. yeah, not the position. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's it. And not the payment. Yeah, but, but I will have a lot of work. And now, uh, this month, it was very tight. Uh, we have, we have, <coughs> sorry. We had a lot of trouble. You should stop smoking. <laughs> I'm not smoking, teacher. I think that is uh, my mother. Oh, because, smoked. yeah, no, no. My mother, uh, she was uh, very close to me today. Oh, and she's I contagious. Think, yeah, <clears throat> I think. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Well, let's hope everything goes okay in your job because I mean, ooh, when they say oh, they're yeah. gonna fire people, it everybody gets like more stress. Yeah, now uh, I told you that this month it was very hard because I had a lot of trouble with the payment and uh, the payment department uh, doesn't give me a, solution about it all right and that's bad. I, yeah yeah so i need to uh, call to i don't know now i i guess i call i will oh no i call it around 40 40 middlemen in the day oh my gosh yeah it was very stressful, but I hope tomorrow will be better. Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's and hope that's so. In general, I think that I, like I told you, 
earlier, I need to do uh, different activities activities because I think that I am sedentary. Sedentary. Yes. Yo estoy sedentaria. Sedentary. Yeah. No. I am a sedentary person. Sedentary. Ah, oh, yeah. I am. I am sedentary person and. I don't know. I just wake up in the morning and go to the to my uh, desktop, and then after working, I come back to the, the to the other desktop or come back to the bed. That's nah. this is my life, teacher. Yeah, you need to get out. Yeah. You need to get out and do something because that's killing you. But everything is okay, I think. Oh yeah, well, sure. And in the yeah, end, you I tell me, yeah, everything die. is okay. Yeah, yeah I try to. I try die. not to. I try not to. I try don't do. Not to die. I try not, not to die. I try not to die. Yeah. To be honest. I didn't uh, study extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got uh, some extra for you that I need you to, to work on. Yeah, I know, teacher. But to be honest, I didn't do. Okay, well, as soon as you get time, start working on it. Now, uh, I need you to come to the Centro de Ayuda to get into the grammar. <laughs> and the intermediate and the one that I want you to get is gerunds, subject and object. Okay. Okay. This is a little bit of a heavy topic. Okay. Okay. This is a heavy topic and I know it is heavy. It's a little bit complex and I would like you to check it out. I think you are prepared to, to understand it. But I would okay. like you to, to do it slowly on your own time, whenever you got time, because it will help you improve in your speaking and it will give you more like fluency. Right now, you have the problem that you use to before all the verbs and sometimes you need to use ing. Do you remember that I am correcting you that? And the same is happening to Janira, for example. So... I am trying to help you to correct that little detail, okay? So okay. if you have time, please check it out. It will help you. But I would like you that whenever you have the time, let me know so I can give you like a follow-up, okay? Okay. On the practice. Because uh, as I tell you, that's going to help you to, to improve and it will, it will make you sound better. Okay, I mean, you will, people who listens to you, if you start using the gerunds in the appropriate way, they will feel like, uh, they will notice that you have a good command of English because those little nuances are the, are the ones that uh, make us, make people understand us better, okay? It's not just a matter of vocabulary. It's not about having a lot of vocabularies. It's also about knowing some grammar aspects that are like important. Some of them we are going to see here in class. Like, uh, let's see, um, let's see, right before, before we finish the course, we are going to use passive voice and that's, Awesome. I mean, passive voice is very interesting because that's actually more the way people think in English. But okay. these also little details that I mentioned in you, like gerunds, are very important and a little bit complex. Complex to, to explain because for us in Spanish, it doesn't make sense. I mean, it makes totally sense in English, but as I tell you, I repeat, if you get a good command of them, man, people will understand you better and people will realize that you have a good command of English, okay? 
Okay, teacher. Okay. So do your best. I know that is hard, and I know that I mean you are a, you are an employee, you are a mother, you are a wife, so you got many many activities, and I mean they are demanding, but try to do it. Believe me, it's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you improve, and you will feel that you are improving. Okay, teacher. Roxana, I I hope to be of help. Have a good night. Take care. Rest. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.